and welcome to another video from Colour with Claire. Today we're going to be looking at colouring a shell or rather painting a shell in Lost Ocean with the Calero paints. So you may have heard of these paints before. They come in little tins that look like this, little plastic tins and they have removable pans of paint. So there's quite a few different sets and you can buy them all individually and I'll be uh, showing you in the description the link for you to buy all of the different paints if you want to. So if you just want to buy the five paints that I'm using for this particular tutorial, you can. So what I have here is Arabic Gold, Golden Orange, Supernova, Peacock Blue and Moss Green. So you'll also need some water or a water brush and of course a page to colour. So I've chosen this shell from the Lost Ocean uh, Artist Edition. But you can use any colouring book you want and you can use this technique on anything you want. It doesn't have to be a shell. So what you need to do first and foremost is you need to get some water on these paints to start activating them. So I've just got a normal paintbrush here and I'm just going to dab some water. You don't need a lot onto the pans so that the, an area of the pan is nice and wet and it's going to start activating and what I mean by that is you need to leave it just for about 30 seconds for the water to soak in and start to thicken the paint a little bit because we don't want it really runny. So we're going to start off at the uh, top of the shell, or well it's bottom to you because it's, it's at the bottom of the page, but this is the top of the shell, it's upside down. And now that we've let that soak in just a little bit, you can get your water brush or your paint brush and just start to mix the colour around a little bit. And once you feel like it's nice and thick, because we don't want it to be really runny, and the longer you leave the water, the thicker it will get, you can start to apply it. So I'm just going to apply it to the top of this shell and I'm just going to do half at a time so that we don't end up with dry paint. We need it to stay fairly wet so that it will blend. So that's the first sort of half of the shell done. I'm not being very precise as you can see but I never am. Uh, then you clean your brush off and while that's still wet and you can see it's really glossy you go in to your golden orange which is your next colour. Do exactly the same thing so give it a little bit of a mix first and you'll just feel by the consistency that it's thicker than you know really runny watercolour paint. We're then going to dot it right up to the gold that we've just put down. There we go. So it's two kind of very distinct colours at the moment with a line in between. So I'm going to clean my brush off, make sure it's not too wet. And then I'm going to just touch the line in between. So you can see I'm just touching some water to the line and that will automatically allow these colours to merge. You can sort of push the pigment a little bit if you want to encourage it along. So I'm just pushing the gold a little bit here. Now, it's very difficult to see the effect when they're still wet. So once this is all dry, you'll see exactly how beautiful it looks. But at the moment, it can look a little bit uh, murky, a little bit dark. So just let that dry for a moment. But while you're doing that, we want to keep on with the colours. So I've cleaned my brush off. I'm now going into the Supernova, which is one of the Galaxy colours from the per, uh, Calero range. They're all really nice and pearlescent. So again, I'm going to go straight up to the golden orange. Now you may notice that you catch a little bit of the water that we just put down. Don't worry about that. It will all add to the effect. So I'm putting down some of this supernova. You can gauge on how big your shape is at how thick you're making your lines, because don't forget you've got to fit five colors in. So I've put down a bit of that supernova. I'm cleaning off my brush making sure it's not too wet and then again I'm just dotting at that line and the water is what will make them all merge together. So next colour is the peacock blue. So just thickening that up and then adding it underneath the pink. So 
Now if you are using a colouring book that is thinner than this, I realise that this is the artist edition so it is card. If you're using just a bog standard colouring book with normal paper, just try and thicken this a little bit more. So you can either use a bit less water in the first instance or you can just kind of play around with it, mix it a little bit longer until it becomes a thicker consistency, okay? So you can use these paints on any thickness of paper. You just have to be a little bit more conservative with the amount of water you're using if it's a thinner stock. So I've cleaned the brush and I'm now going in with a fairly dry brush just to merge that line. Okay, so it's just to help it along a little bit. Now we move on to the last colour which is the moss green so exactly the same thing all the way and then adding it in underneath the blue this is already starting to merge because of the water that we've put down okay clean it off dry it off a little bit and just coax pigments together a little so it's literally just a very light dabbing motion just coaxing those pigments to blend together so at the moment that just looks like a hot mess I, I know but it will look much much better once it's dry so I'm going to do the, the second half of the shell on top here so that you can see the whole thing uh, but it's best to work with small sections at a time because you don't want your paint to dry obviously now by this time the water that you put down initially onto these pans will probably have dried up a little bit now I'm using a water brush so I'm squeezing a little bit more water out of here but you may need to dot a little bit more water on just don't forget not to go too wet so let's just pop some of this gold might need a little bit more here we go just across the top now I first learned about Calero paints I believe from the wonderful Claire Holloway, who is another um, lady, tutorial lady, <laughs> like myself. And she has a channel on here, Claire Holloway Colouring. Please go and subscribe and follow her because her tutorials are just brilliant. She's so, so creative and so talented. Um, and her ideas are fantastic and she executes them just wonderfully. So please go and subscribe to her channel. Um, she is the Calero Queen. All right, I've named her that anyway. <laughs> um, and she's always doing things with these paints, particularly in um, Ivy and the Inky Butterfly that she's working on completing at the moment. So um, there is my little bit of gold. I can then go in with the golden orange. So again, you may need to just add a bit more water because they do dry quite fast, these pans. And I guess that's a good thing because we don't want them to be all watery and soggy, do we? So now usually I would keep these pans in their little plastic tins that I showed you earlier because then they wouldn't wobble around like they are doing. But I've just taken the five colours out just to show you. So there we are with the golden orange. And again, just dab at that line with a clean semi-dry brush just to merge them a little. Clean it off and next colour. Coming in with the pink now. This is called Supernova. It's a beautiful colour. It's actually from the Galaxy set, which is this one here. And they have some stunning colours. We've got Sunbeam, Supernova, Deep Space, Dark Star, Meteor and Moonlight in that set. They're absolutely beautiful colours. Specifically the Meteor, I really like that. It's almost like having a piece of graphite. That's what it looks like to me anyway. And then the next one, which is Peacock Blue. So 
So these Calero paints are absolutely fantastic. I don't know if you've worked with them before, but you've probably seen them around and about on the colouring groups. They are brilliant. They are absolutely packed with pigment, packed. I don't know whether the camera's showing up how shiny these are at this angle, but I will be showing you at the end. But you'll just see they have these really micro fine uh, mica or mica pigments in them. And they are just incredibly, incredibly glittery and pearlescent and shiny. So um, I've put my blue down, cleaning the brush off. I'm using my hand, you should use a paper towel for sure. Um, using my hand just to dry it off before I dot against the line. I think I'm doing a better job with this side of the shell than I did on that side. I think you may have used slightly too much water. It's a little bit aqua happy on that side. So cleaning it off and then finally with the moss green. Now, if you already have some Calero paints and you don't have these specific colours, but you have something close, go ahead and try it because it will all work, um, you know, pretty much exactly the same. They all blend beautifully. Um, so if you've got a different green or a different blue, you can definitely try this technique. It doesn't have to be these exact shades that I've chosen. I just thought they went pretty well together. In fact, if it was up to me, I probably would have chosen a lighter green, more of a limey green, um, but I don't have that in my set. So just make do with what you have if you do have the paints. And if not, as I've mentioned, you can always get them individually. So there we go. I think that's pretty much done for that side. Now, obviously, you guys are going to be much neater than me because look, I've, I've really gone out of the lines everywhere up here, but that's fine. It's demo purposes. That's what I'm telling myself and I'm sticking to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a line of gold here and then start the process again. Now I am doing this in real time. So if you're getting bored, just skip to the end. Um, but I just thought it might be nice for you to have a little look in real time and me to have a little chat with you guys. I've not been doing any live streams lately. Um, to be honest, I'm never really comfortable with live streams, um, you know, with my anxiety and, and things like that um, and speaking kind of off the cuff where I can't edit it if I go wrong. Um, so I've not been doing too many live streams, but I think my kind of niche is doing the recorded videos. I, there are so many brilliant live streamers out there and they do what they do fantastically well and it's just not really my forte. Um, not to say that I won't do any again in the future. Uh, but I definitely prefer doing these kind of pre-recorded videos so that I'm totally happy with what I'm putting out and I don't um, get a massive brain fart and mess up. So again with the pink. I was actually going to do this as one of my um, non-voiced videos where I'll just put some music over it and some instructions on screen but I've had a lot of feedback from people saying that whilst those videos are okay they prefer me to talk so <laughs> so uh, yes that's what I'm doing and hopefully I'm not boring you um, so you've noticed that I haven't actually gone in and blurred the lines on this bit because it's quite a small area I can afford to put all my colours down first because it's still going to be wet by the time I get back where I've started from. So I'm going to pop some green there and I might even do a little bit of gold at the bottom. There we go. So you can do these kind of in any order that you want um, or with any colours that you want as I say. It doesn't have to be exactly how I've done it. So I'm just using a fairly dry brush again just to mess about with these colours, just touch at the lines and let them sort of do their thing. They'll flow on their own, you know, as soon as you touch some water into it like you just saw then, that gold has just gone all the way up, almost into the pink. That's fine. You can have it really sort of um, organic and, you know, flowy looking. That's totally cool with me. So as you can see, it's still drying. I have used quite a lot of water on this. If you are using your thinner kind of stock colouring books, as I've mentioned, just try and use a little bit less water um, and you should be fine. So I'm just going to finish off these little wings of the shell here. Um, might just do 
a bit of let's see let's do that supernova i think it's a gorgeous color let's do some of that in here and maybe a little bit of the gold or the orange just on the very tips um yeah let's do the gold so i'm just going to pop some gold here and it will just merge by itself so you know it's not a neat and tidy process you know it's, it involves a lot of water and a lot of um sort of merging of colours and it could go either way it could you know the colours could all merge together and look really muddy but I think as long as you try and keep um, the colours fairly solid um, but just touch up that line in between you'll be fine I think this area um, I've probably used a little bit too much water and they've flown a little bit here there and everywhere but I'm not bothered it's fine <laughs> so what I would probably do with this is outline it in black once it's dry just to contain it and give it that neater edge um, but I'm going to come back to you in just a few minutes when it's dried up and we'll see the finished result okay so it's now fully dry and uh, as you can see I've had a little bit of a mishap here as soon as I turned off the camera to wait for it to dry I ended up pulling this tray across my page like an absolute idiot and having a kind of no kind of slow-mo moment where it all um just went all over the page basically so I've managed to save it just by dotting on a little bit more colour here and there you know where it got scraped off so you know that's just the kind of thing I'd do it's just my look but here we are it is dry let's have a look in the light so you can see better this beautiful kind of oil slick iridescence so hopefully the camera's picking it up just how it looks like the inside of a shell when you tilt it to the light now, as I've said, Claire Holloway is the absolute master with these paints. She is the Calero queen. Um, so if you want to find out how to blend them to a much better standard than this, please do go over to her channel. I've had another go up here just while I was waiting. So this one's still drying at the moment. I think it's going to turn out quite nice. But uh, as you can see, the bits of it that are dry, again, beautiful, beautiful look. And I do think it does look very iridescent and, you know, it's something to try anyway. It's a good experiment. It's a good little experimental uh, test with these paints if you've got them and you haven't used them yet. So give it a go. And uh, please let me know in the comments whether you've tried this. Tag me in photos here, there and everywhere, Instagram, Facebook, if you want me to see what you've done. I would love to see it. Um, and yes, thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you soon on Colour with Claire.